hello lovely people you are welcome to the channel thank you so much for clicking kindly do us a favor by subscribing to our channel and like the video so this will be the part three of q and a section that you guys has been asking me and i said we did a live stream last week so Mm, I just make it in short form so that you guys can watch and learn something from it and then also get your answers from this experience uh, workers Take the next uh, guys that you have seen on the screen yes they are in, uh, they are in Kuwait here so you can see their name kindly subscribe to their channel too they are also in Kuwait here and if you have any question you can also ask them so Thank you all for supporting this page always so kindly watch the video this will be the final part of uh, your questions okay so most of the your questions too were answered in the, the live stream and because most of you know. didn't join the live stream the question that i'm receiving they have already answered so this is it kindly watch it thank I you I think that most, not most companies many of the companies you find that only single people who who shall come here but if you come with a spouse you go raise your money before coming and uh, before moving in together in your spouse in Kuwait because uh, it's it's prohibited it's illegal to stay with a woman who is not your wife or a man who is not your husband so yeah you can you can come with your spouse here and also your whole family if you get if you get a job opportunity but uh, for you to sponsor your spouse that's another whole different thing yeah. to sponsor your spouse for the visa there are a lot of requirements that's what okay, I wanted. Before, yeah before i chip into that uh, question uh there's that point uh, michael oburu was asking about uh, how many bags one should uh, carry when they're coming to kuwait because they say i had some country accept 23 kg weight yeah this is not a matter of uh, a country it's not a matter of a country but the flight uh the flight you'll be using it depends with the with the with the flight you'll be using if it's ethiopian airline obviously ethiopian airline gives 46 kgs if you use um if you use a flight like uh, air arabia they give less maybe 23 kgs so this one depends with the with the employer or the agent because once you are coming here for the first time remember your air ticket is the is the uh, agent or um, employer who will pay for that and sometimes employ uh, employers normally go for the cheapest so if they go for the cheapest remember the number of bags will be limited like air arabia it's very cheap but you'll realize that you are only allowed to bring in 23 kgs okay but if you if your employer gives you an executive flight let's say i'll say executive like kenya airways or ethiopian airline 46 kgs with 7 kgs pack pack you see so it depends with the flight not the country in in kuwait you can bring even 10 10 bucks if you want but if the the, the airline um allows that because like Ethiopian airline, Kenya Airways, they will, they will allow you 46 kgs plus 7 kgs backpack. But if you have more bags, the airline will give you the rates that you can pay for it. So yeah. you can bring as many bags as you want. It depends with the airline that you'll be using. And if you have more bags, you can pay. You can pay the extra fee. And then the other point you are talking about, uh, maybe uh here in kuwait if you can stay with your your husband um most of the companies here uh they they don't have that opening like to bring a husband and a wife so what you can do because sometimes maybe an agent has a job uh, job openings for men and women so the two of you can uh, uh, decide to take the jobs at the same time but it's good if you legalize your marriage back home but even if you come here you might be staying in different accommodation and if you want to stay together you have to provide a marriage certificate but it's not the one you you, you came with from home there's a department here which uh, is uh, mandated to 
uh, to deal with such. So you will take your um, home country marriage certificate to this uh, ministry, and then you'll pay some fee, and then they'll give you a marriage certificate for Kuwait. Because we have a team, we have a, a department of uh, police that they normally go around. If they find you living um, uh, with a woman or a woman living with a man in the same roof and you're not married, that is straight deportation. You will go back to your country. But if you, pro uh, you provide that um, marriage certificate that you got from here, obvious it shows that you underwent that, uh, that uh, process which means you provided your home country marriage certificate and they offered you uh, their certificate or they certify your, your marriage certificate to show that you are really married, then you can stay together. So if you live in different accommodation, different companies, you can request from your company that I want to stay outside the accommodation because I have a wife here, then you can come together. The other point is that if you came alone, and maybe you want to bring your family here there's a there's a certain amount of money you should be earning i think it's 500 kd if you are earning 500 is it 500 kd it's 50 kd it was 600 kd i can recently yeah so there's a certain amount of money that you're supposed to uh to be earning uh, 650 KD, as uh, my fellow panelists are saying. So 650 KD. So if you're earning that amount of money, it means you can support your family. So you'll, you'll apply to the respective uh, ministry uh, to get the family visa, and you can bring your wife and your kids here in Kuwait. Yeah, so that's the process. Yeah. And also maybe sometimes they, they might even require to, you to be maybe a manager in a certain company or even have a degree from university. Yeah. Apart from, or even have a driving license. So uh, staying with your spouse here in Kuwait sometimes it's a whole process. Thank you guys for that. Yeah, because some people have been asking me that question, can I come to Kuwait with my family? So, yeah, you, you, you know that the other day, NBTC building caught yeah. fire, right? So that company, mostly it has um, it has people who work in the construction field, right? So we have a uh, mason, we have plumbers, name them. Yeah, so the amount of money someone in NBTC will earn will, de will be different from ASMAS. Because ASMAS pays less, NBTC pays more. So it depends with the company that you're coming to work for. Another thing, uh, there are companies here in Kuwait, like let's say my, my, the company that brought me here in Kuwait, which is a host company, but I don't work for them. They just brought me here. They are providing me accommodation, transportation, and uh, food. But I work for That's an American company. company. Okay, so there are two yeah. things which can happen in that scenario. The host company can be paid by the uh, contracting company and then they will pay you. So definitely they will not pay you the right amount, they will pay you less. But if you, are, you, you, you get a company that has brought you, a host company that has brought you to Kuwait, they provide you all the benefits, but the salary is being paid by the primary uh, contractor, then you'll earn more. Okay, so yeah. these these uh, these uh, issues about salary, how much this person earns, we we cannot uh, we cannot evaluate because now we don't know which company. Unless if you come here, you say I have an offer letter from a company like NBTC, which is uh, which is dealing with uh, construction. Okay, construction. Yeah. Maybe you are a plumber. So if you ask me that question, I will do my due diligence here because I have people who work there and ask for you and then I give you the, the response. So I'll still go back to the point I was making at the, uh, initially, if you are coming here, maybe using an agent, before you get you, you, you travel, the agent will give you an offer later. When you see that amount of money, that salary that you are supposed to be earning, convert in your home currency, is it good for you? Once you take it, then that is what you will receive. If you want to come here, maybe applying the jobs online, 
you have uh you have um uh like that chance to negotiate with the empl uh, the employer yeah so whatever you agree upon um online then that is what you'll you'll make but the good thing with kuwait is that they have a minimum wage the minimum wage uh is 75 though the other day they passed um i mean there's uh there's something going on like they're supposed to, they want to raise uh the mini minimum wage to 100 like my company has already implemented that okay uh the, the people who used to earn 75 um kd basic now already they increase the salary to 100 so i know in other companies they have not implemented that because it has not reached the final stage but uh be sure if you come here you will not earn 50 kd basic you will not earn 60. there is a minimum wage they have good money they, they they have the strongest currency in the world if anyone hears that everybody will be like let me go to wait then this country will be full that's why they are they are putting more barriers or limitations limitations for people to come here so if you get an opportunity even if you are a, um it's a job like a janitor a cleaner you are cleaning toilets yeah that money will not smell shit just take that opportunity as long as as long as you know, um, this visa is visa 18. Come and persevere, stay here three years. After three years, ask for release. Once you get the release letter, you can now uh, look for a job in your expertise. Whatever you are experienced in, you can take that job. So don't be seated there and say, oh, I want a forklift operator job. I want this job, a plumber job, because you are a plumber it means you have a good life over there take any job that comes around as long as you can grab it just come bring yourself here that is the same way people do when they want to go to europe or they want to go to the us they don't look at what they did back home they take these small jobs even if it's janitor cleaner warehouse operator all that stuff just find yourself there and then act smart Thank you so much for